Hey guys, Heidi here. Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And I'm just creating a Christmas camper for um, a paint party I'm doing in a few weeks. So I just wanted to kind of paint with y'all and just show you kind of some of the process and how I'm adding the lights. Um, sometimes these paintings, you know, especially if you're new to painting, you're not really sure, um, not really sure sometimes like exactly how something's done, but it's not really that hard whenever you go to break it down. So I'm just gonna pick a few colors now um, for the lights. So I want it to stay very, very Christmassy. And this is, um, this can be used as a door hanger or it could be used as just on your fireplace or somewhere where you're decorating. But you can put it outside. Um, let me see, I'm gonna get a dark blue, maybe a green. And I'm gonna use Traditions. Hey guys, thank y'all for joining. And a dark blue, and eh, maybe not the dark blue. Sometimes you just wanna put it up to your painting and see if it looks good. Yeah, I'm not going to go with dark blue. Um, maybe I'll just stick to the red and green. No, I don't want to do. What color do y'all think I should do the lights? Maybe a yellow. Yellow would go well. So we'll do yellow and... Let me find that. Okay, so I'm going to do yellow. Good morning. Thank y'all for joining. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do yellows and greens. And... I love um, this time of year. I know it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way, guys. Um, I know it's Halloween, and I'm doing a Christmas-themed. I've been painting Christmas paintings pretty much the whole week because right now is when um, all of those paintings start to come up. So I'm just doing basically parentheses or a football shape or an eye, however you want to say it and just filling it in. And I'm making them a little bigger than they should be just to make it more cartoony. This is a little wet. The wreath I just did with um, with some dots. I just did three different greens. So it was a pretty, pretty simple. Try not to get the other part that's wet. Anyway, I put a link for a free guide. Those of you that are maybe interested in teaching paint parties, um, it's, an, it's a really, really fun way to make extra money. And so, you know, I always think of like a second income. You know, if somebody wants to make some extra money for Christmas or even for, um, for a vacation, maybe you're thinking of like a summer vacation you want to do you could go ahead and start doing these parties now and put away for a really, really cool summer vacation. So I put a free guide for you that kind of shows you how to get your customers and it also has a video and a um, download, like a little ebook I put together. So if you wanna sign up for that, the link is in the description. So you can sign up for that and it'll come to your email. So just make sure you check your spam folder if you didn't get it because it automatically sends. So I'm not having to manually send it, but sometimes people, when they go, they're like, oh, I don't see it. And it's just because it has to be marked to where it's not spam. Um, oh yeah, and then I also send other fun things out and different stuff to the e to, the, to um, people who sign up for that. So, but yeah, this is just, I just kind of make the very end a little pointed, not a lot, just a little. So yellow, then I'm going to do a green there. I'll do a yellow here. And there are so many fun Christmas campers you can do. Um, I just like to try to keep it traditional. Yesterday I painted a couple of paintings that, you know, did not turn out how I was hoping for them to turn out. So they are not not going to be shown. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Whenever you start to design a painting, it's just part of the process. Sometimes it happens where you just, you know, it's not something you want to use at your paint parties, and that's okay. That's part of experimenting, trying, and then just kind of 
getting the feel of what you want to teach too. Which this is just, again, I'm just drawing a simple football. And I can't really see the comments, so um, I'll look at them afterwards because of the way I have it angled. So if you have questions or you, you know, want to message me, that's fine. Um, I try to check those every, every few days. And then I think, I'm not really a bow girl, but I think this bow looks really cute with this. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the bow? Should I keep the bow? Maybe that's the question I should ask. I'm just gonna add this. And then when I develop these for paint parties, I try not to do a ton of detail. Um, because, you know, sometimes the detail that might take me just, you know, a few minutes can really scare somebody who's never painted before. So I try to do like enough detail to where it's really adorable and people can go crazy when they start painting it, but then not too much where they can't finish. Um, I taught a, a camper last year that it was pretty intense, so I don't know if I'm going to teach it this year unless we allow for a longer time. Okay, and one more yellow. And then I'm also, to attach the bow, I'm just using hot glue. So what's everybody doing today? I have my Hallmark movies on. I watched two Hallmark movies yesterday while I painted. And today I'm watching another one. <laughs> These are my favorite days when I'm just at home by myself with my Hallmark movies on, painting away, favorite days. Oh, I'm gonna get some glitter. Let me grab some glitter for this. The red plaid would be cute. Oh yes, do you like that? The red plaid on there? Yeah, the red plaid and buffalo plaid. Let me grab some glitter real quick. Oh, and I also wanted to show y'all the um, arches that I did yesterday. These are massive. So if I do this as a, as a paint party, I'm going to have to do this um, obviously at a higher price because look at the difference. I mean, these things are huge. They're so big. So what I did, I haven't glued it together yet, but I'll just show y'all. It's um, a piece that comes off. So I actually painted the bottom. Once I finish adding all my glitter and all of that stuff, then I'll put it together. But I love how it turned out. I can really see me putting this up year round for Christmas time on my fireplace. I love, 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 love how it turned out. Ugh. Okay, so this is just glitter glue. We're gonna see if this will work. Let me see, it's like the glue stuck together. Oh, I might have to get a new one. Let me cut it. When in doubt, just stab it. Let's see. Man, that is some severe plastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah, and the arches, if you want to buy those, um, I'll probably be doing one paint party just with arches. So if you're local, and then also um, Craft Creations. I love those people. They have the best stuff. They have a weird spelling, so I'll put it in after the video because it's kind of a strange... Strange spelling, so people always go to the wrong place. Let me see if this one works. Okay, maybe this one will work. Yeah, so I'm just using red glitter. Man, that glitter would not, would not open. It was crazy. Okay, so for glitter glue, a lot of times at parties, I tell people to um, 
use their finger. And the reason I do that is because a lot of times they forget to clean my brushes right away. And if you forget to clean the brushes right away, then um, it ruins them because it's glue. You know, it's a little different with paint sometimes. I can get those out of there. The glue, I, I sometimes have a hard time. So I just say, oh, just grab it, especially when I'm teaching kids parties. Just grab it and use your fingers, you know, and then that way there's no problem with the, the paint brushes. But since I'm at home and they're my paint brushes, I just make sure I rinse them. <laughs> and then I was thinking of putting a little, um, a word here or even the little flags. You know how on the campers they do the flags and have a word written? Um, what word for Christmas do y'all think I should put on? I could put something like believe, joy, um, Merry Christmas. That's a lot of flags, so maybe not that one. Or should I just write on here? What do y'all think? Because I feel like I have this happening, so I don't know if I should have it happening again right here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight line on these and then a bow right here. Is anybody painting today? Let me know if you already teach paint parties or if you're thinking about it or you're just a crafter. I'd love to read back and see. Oh my gosh, I think I hear rain. It started raining here. It's gonna be hard for trick-or-treaters. I need to go buy candy still. Did you already buy candy for your trick-or-treaters today? I haven't bought any. I try not to buy it because I'll just eat it before they come. So I was like, I'll just buy it the day of. Okay, we have a bow. And then I'm just gonna take some white paint and add some highlight lines. And again, if anybody's interested in thinking about maybe teaching paint parties, um, just look, oop, got my hand in the glitter. Just look in the description. I have a link for a free gift for you that will help you get started right away. Big old glob, just use the glob to your advantage when that happens. No need in getting rid of it, just throw it in there. And then if you want to use silver, this is Deco Art and um, Matte Metallic, a flat silver. That's what I used over this. I painted gray first. I'm just gonna take it and just add a little bit with just a liner brush just on top of these little bulbs where the the um, holder is for the bulbs. What would you call that? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> if y'all know, just post in the comments. I'm not sure what the holder for the bulbs is called, the light bulbs. Okay, so you have the silver, silver, and then this here, and then this bow will kind of go here. Now I just need a word. So my option is just to freehand it. Um, I could put somebody's name on the camper. Established, that would be really cute. Like a name with a sap, ooh, socket, thank you. Base, good. Um, oh, Christmas vacation, maybe plant in one of the windows. Oh, that would be cute. Like a little poinsettia or just a little fern. Um, so I'm thinking like of doing an established, somebody's name, um, maybe I'll do a name and then a little door handle. There we go. 
So add a plant, and then I want to put, what do they put for campers, like whenever they have somebody's name? Is it just, you know, for example, the Easleys? Um, I could put, I could put maybe Merry Christmas here, and then put a sign, I'm trying to think, or, oh, I'll put little Christmas trees in the windows. That'll be cute. Let me try that like a plant, but I'll have a little mini Christmas tree with some lights on it. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun to paint at a, a paint party. This morning I took Blue for a walk and um, it was all the fall colors are starting to happen here in Texas and it was so pretty. I just kind of, I didn't take my phone, I just kind of like just walked around and just, you know, looked at the trees. You know, sometimes we have so much going on with social media and TV and, you know, everything and I feel like I always have something a podcast or some something playing in the background and so I was like you know I'm just gonna like not bring the phone and just listen and look at the trees and it was just so peaceful and um, especially looking at all the colors and seeing the fall colors change I was like oh my gosh you know a lot of times in Texas we're like yeah we have one week of fall and that's it and this year it rained for a long time so um we were like man our one great week of fall it was raining but now, um, when you just take a minute to look at it, it's still there. It's here. We didn't miss it. Okay, that, that lamb kind of went, went south. I gotta... It's a good thing about paint, guys. When you do have a mistake, you can just paint right on top of it and easily fix it. So once those dry, if I want, I can add just little dots on it to make it look like it's um, decorated. So those are just fun little trees in the windowsill. Nothing too serious, just kind of fun. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is put, you know, the name of the people that live here. And then I'll have, I think I'm going to use my vinyl cutter and do... Um, Merry Christmas here, so it's really professional. So I'll post I'll post a picture of the finished one at the end, um, and then I'm going to do some light, some little lights in the trees. All right, is there anything else I should add? Let me know. I'm going to do Merry Christmas, and um, the name of the people. Maybe I don't know if I should put it right there or over on the side. Um, maybe I'll put Merry Christmas from whoever it is, you know, Merry Christmas from the Easleys or whatever. So let me know what you think on that. And then if anybody's out there and you're thinking about wanting to teach a couple paint parties, um, November and December, you still have plenty of time. Um, download the free guide I have in the comments. I don't know if you can see this. I think it's up at top in the comments. Let me see if it'll let me post it here too. Oh yeah, there you go. So if you want to, it's in the comments. I pinned it to the top. And you can get the free guide that tells you exactly how to get started. So check that out. It's a video and a guide. And um, happy Halloween, y'all. I know I'm doing Christmas, but happy Halloween. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye, guys.